Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with Dark Souls. Last time we worked our way out of the swamp and out of Blight Town and all that area. And uh, now we're back up in Firelink Shrine, but we came back to some very bad news. Firekeeper is dead. Now I suspect Lautrec. But we did find a way that we can get revenge on him, but we won't do that for a while. And apparently someone has moved in here who snores a lot. Oh, and there's Laurentius from the the depths we freed from that pot. But first, let's talk to this dude. What? The devil are you? There used to be water here. And you opened up these panels and came out? What are you? What are you? Pretty awful. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? Mm -hmm. I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Ooh. Do you seek such enlightenment? You betcha. Very well. Then I am pleased to share, chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, Whoa. so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Wow. I rang those bells for that. Sounds pretty intense. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Okay. So Mr. Framped here, he told us what we need to do. We need to work our way up to An Orlando, get the Lord Vessel, uh, in order to work our way towards linking the first flame or something. I don't know if you mentioned that, but that's what we need to do, though, uh, to keep the Age of Fire going. So, that's a pretty important fate, and I'm surprised we had to go through so much trouble just to ring a couple bells to wake this guy up. What a pain in the butt. So we can feed him items. Uh, it's basically how you sell stuff you don't want. If you have too many of something you don't want, you can sell it for souls. You can feed him large titanite shards, he breaks them into just titanite shards, and it chunks into large titanite shards, I think. Yeah, he basically breaks all those materials into the next lower denomination, I think. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Great. A house of traps, really? Those who seek many fate. Hmm. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Okay, you do that. Man, I like a horse mouth. What are you, what are you chewing on? Need some gum or something? Okay, so the Crestfallen Knight doesn't really like that Framp has moved in. He's pretty smelly, I guess. Hey, Laurentius, how you doing? Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magic's unsavory. Oh, no way, man. I, I, I could use some, yeah, sure. Oh, really? Well, oh, whoops. But it, uh, it's your choice. I'm on the fringe. Yeah, I know. Uh, undead or not, that's who I am. I only wish that, that, that I could have repaid you somehow. Uh, I meant no. I was tricked. Sorry. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. Oh, and uh, if by chance you've had a change of heart... I'll be pleased to assist you by sharing my spells. Yes, I have changed my mind. 
Right? Is that right? Yeah, wonderful. Oh, thank God. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. Pyromancy! Woo! We can use our pyromancy now. <laughs> a flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. Okay. So he sells all sorts of pyromancies. Really cool stuff, too. Uh, I haven't really used any of these, except for maybe combustion. And fireball. Maybe fire orb? I don't know. That's 8,000 souls. Holy cow. And we can also upgrade our pyromancy flame uh, to make it more powerful. As you can see. Which is really good. You can actually do a lot of damage with pyromancy. Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to use it all that much, though. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Hmm. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory, which is fine as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, being a pyromancer isn't so so great, I guess. A pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of him. Hey, no problem, man. A pyromancer's flame. The flame. Please take. Cool. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. You either, man. You either. Well, holy cow. We got Pyromancy from Laurentius. Yeah, he is a really good voice actor. I just did a really good job, I think. Anyway, uh, if we upgraded our Pyromancy to plus 10, we could actually go down and talk to that special character that talks about the Daughters of Chaos and all that. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. Or if I'm going to do that. <laughs> Hello. Everything else to say, man? Griggs? Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Oh man, did we miss those guys? Oh, hello. And pray that you never go hollow. Oh. Wow, he's not going to tell us anything unless we have intelligence. Oh no, they're up here. Hello. Oh man, your companions, they finally arrived! Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Yeah, sure, man. Uh, so what you got going on over here? Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Why? What's wrong with me? Do I have B.O.? Is it the, it's the B.O., isn't it? What? Are you praying? Or just eating something? So this guy doesn't like undead either. These clerics, they're, they're racist. You guys are all racist, you know that? Hello, miss? You are undead as well? Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Oh, so she's undead. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. 
Okay, okay. Did I not explain the all right by the look? Well, she's she's all business. All right, well, good luck on your mission. Holy cow. It's uh, a little bit too serious over here. So, yeah, these guys, um, her mission is to discover the right of kindling, but they have to go into the catacombs. That's why she has all these guards, uh, including good old Petrus here. So, uh, yeah, that's what they're going to try to do. Good luck to you all. I hope you find what you're looking for in the dark, in the deep. Uh, is that all I want to do here? I think so. Holy moly. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Oh, oh. Let's see if uh, Mr. Dude moved over here. At some point... Domnal of Xena, remember that guy from right before Blight Town? He moves over there, yep. Hang on. Gotta take care of these interlopers. Check it out. He's over there. Hi, Domnal. How you doing? Oh, don't shoot him. Oh. Good God. Trying to get on his bad side? Anyway, yeah, you can go over there and buy stuff. You can buy his set of gear. You can buy sets of gear of other bosses that you kill. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, we're not going to go that way. I haven't rested at a bonfire since <laughs> before, uh, like, down in the swamp. So, I don't want to die. I don't want to do anything that could potentially kill me. I'm just going to be real careful. Until we get up to Andre, and then I'll be happy. Take me up, take me up, take me up. And look at those trees. They're huge. Huge trees. Okay. Remember there's some dudes down here? Remember, remember... The 9th? 4th of November? Was it 4th? Alright. Hey, you guys! How you doing? My good friends. You're all dead. Okay, let's go rest of this bonfire so I can start, uh, stop freaking out. Yeah. Do 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 do. I hear that Andre bang bang banging along. Ah, wonderful. Okay, we're here. Oh man, and guess what? Sen's Fortress, right there. Siegmeier has probably already gone inside, so... I hope he's doing okay. Andre, I have a present for you! Merry Christmas, Santa Claus! Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Yes, you may have it. Magnificent! Ooh. You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Oh, he's so excited. You are very welcome. Alright, so now... We can reinforce... I think. Can't we? What am I, what, what? I thought we could uh, go to plus 10. Maybe the weapon I'm using right now can only go to plus 5? Wait a minute. Oh, uh, or do we have to... Oh, that's right, we have to ascend it, yeah. <laughs> and then we can upgrade it, right, right. 
So we can ascend it with one large Titanite Shard and 200 souls. Uh, we could turn it into a raw broadsword. I don't really know what that means. Does it just make it pure? What the heck does it do? I don't know. And then you can return it back to its original form. Like, if you ascend it to something, you can return it back to plus five, so you can make it a different kind of weapon. I'm not really sure what raw is. I th maybe it's just physical strength? It, look, it has more strength than a plus six. But I don't know if you can upgrade past this, so... I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do it to plus six. Go for it. Alright, and now... There we go. Now we can do it. And see, it now takes large Titanite Shards. But luckily, we have some. I need three more, though. Bummer. Uh, do you sell those now? No. You sure don't. Okay, well, anyway, we have a plus nine sword now. Heck yeah. Also, I wanted to upgrade the Falchion, so let's do that as much as we can. I'm gonna need some more Titanite Shards. Hopefully I'll have enough. <laughs> I need two more shards. Go get yourself neither of them. Ah, uh, that is true. Oh man, I have a Firekeeper soul, but I can't turn it in because our Firekeeper lady got owned. Oh dear. Ooh, 3,000 souls from that. Wow. Well, uh, you need it. Okay, I only need two, right? Maybe? We'll get three. Why not? And we can't, uh... Oop. We can't do that, because we still need a large Titanite shard. Okay. Get your neither. I don't want to go hollow. No, indeed. Okay, well, there we go. We have a plus nine broadsword, plus four, five falchion. Wee, 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 wee. We, are, we are ready to go into Sen's Fortress. Oh, man. Oh, God. Do not enjoy Sen's Fortress. Until we get more uh, large Titanite shards. Uh, I don't really know, like, the only place that I can think of that would be really good to farm those would be all the way back down in the swamp, but I don't really want to go back there. So we'll just hold off on using our Falchion again. Just use our broadsword some more. And uh, next time we'll head into Sen's Fortress. And you can see uh, just how deadly it is. It's pretty deadly. Not quite as much as Blight Town, but it it's pretty close. Oh man, and, and one other thing that I never really paid attention to, you see all these like little embers floating around in the air? I never noticed those. <laughs> That's cool. It's a nice little touch. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna end it. See you guys later!